Hey, it's Michelle, Medicine with the Metals and Plant Medicine Path. Today I have got my good friend Shayra Stone, who I've known for a couple of years now. We're here to talk about your, your journey on this path and now your beautiful offerings at Mystical Moon Sanctuary. Welcome, Shayra. Hi, everyone. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> Thank you for coming on to talk with us. Uh, thanks for having me. I am like so excited right now to be here with you. <laughs> We're excited to have you. We met it's been, we were just talking about it. It's been about three years now. Yeah. And it's before you, you even had a baby and now you have an almost two-year-old. So talk a little bit about, before we get into your, your beautiful offerings, your path, how you got started on this journey. Um, well, of course, you know, uh, I dealt with a lot of trauma. What led me um, to, to this path is, uh, I got to a point in my life, I mean, to be realistic, and I, I wanted to commit suicide. So um, I, I was done. I was done with life. I was done with the way the world was. I was I was done. I was like, I'm tired of being here. And um, all I've ever known is, you know, the, the societal route where you, you go to the doctor, you can get on a prescription drug or something like that. And I was like, I don't want to do any of that. Um, and then all of a sudden, I was told about this plant medicine called ayahuasca. And when I heard about it, I was like, what in the world is, is that? Like, how do you even spell that? So I researched, did all that, and it opened up my eyes. It gave me, it gave me, uh, it cleared my mind. It helped me have a, a chance to forgive myself, forgive uh, the things in my past and, and help me just really start digging within myself. Um, Okay, so this this always amazes me when I hear people who just and Mark was the same. He he had just heard of this and then started doing some some investigating and then went down and and you know we all met at Soul Quest. That was I think mm -hmm. that was the first place yep. where you drank as well, um, and and then you just went. I can't imagine doing that. I knew some, somebody who had been before, so I was able to see. But to just go, did you know anyone? You had never even heard the word ayahuasca before. No, I, know, I never heard of it. I was just like, I, was, I mean, I was literally at that point because I was like, I'm not I'm not going to get on depression medicine. I've done that. It, and then when I got off of it, it, it was like my trauma just came. It was like it was so repressed and it came back to yeah. me 20 times yeah. over. So, right, right. yeah, whenever I did it, it was like. It, it was scary, but what was scarier than, than not wanting to be here no more? Yeah. What was yeah. scarier than that? Because, like, I've never wanted, I've never, like, I've I've struggled with depression, anxiety throughout my life. But, I mean, I never wanted to not live, but I didn't want to keep suffering. So I was like, what do you do? And then when that came about and I did the research, um, that movie, what really, really set the tone for me, and be honest, was that movie from Shock to All. When I watched yes. that and saw how it helped the veterans, and and what they, I mean, what they went through, they've had to go through some crazy, hard, you know, choices and things in their life. And I realized I haven't had experienced that. So, you know, if it helps them, then maybe it could help me. And and boy, does she, did she? <laughs> like my life has been forever changed since then. Um, I've only experienced it one time. Mm -hmm. Um. And then, of course, you know, meddled with uh, mushrooms. Yes. I've uh, done mac mac macro dosing and now I do micro dosing. So yes. That helps me a lot. You know, here is something that that I've learned in in the past three and a half years or so that I've done this is that that you know because you were saying I, well I didn't have anything traumatic like they did. It's not about the trauma itself. It's about how we carry the trauma. So you know, a very traumatic instant for you could be something that's completely different for somebody else. Right. So don't downgrade your own, your own things that you have going on. It, it's not about the trauma itself, but it's about how we carry it and, and why I, we carry it. I definitely agree with that. Cause I've, I've also gained that, that introspection too. Um, because that's how I looked at it then. And then yeah, now yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like, we, we, we all process things in, in the way we're going to process it. Everything's going to happen to us differently. What's, what's really traumatic to me might not be traumatic to somebody else. And, you yes. know, vice versa. Like, it's just, yes. it's yep. beautiful. It's a struggle, mm -hmm. but it's a beautiful process once you, once you dive into the unknown. 
Yes. Okay. Out. So you go and you have your ayahuasca experience, and mm -hmm. and we met, of course, through integration because as as Mark and I, the whole reason we started the plant medicine path is is integration is everything. It, Without yeah. integration, it's just an experience, and that's all it is. Mm -hmm. um, it's the integration into our daily lives of what we've learned from these medicines. That's where the the magic lies. It, yes, I completely agree. Um, you find it as a tool. It's a sacred tool and it, it helps you. I find integration as, as a beautiful thing. It, it's helped me so much when we were on those calls and stuff. Um, I truthfully got a little disconnected being a single mom and everything like that. So that's where, that's actually what kind of led me to these other uh, tools to use to help guide me in a way where I couldn't always do integration all the time. I couldn't always just jump on call or have, you know, the access um, because having a little baby <laughs> all to right. yourself. Yes. <laughs> Mine gets away from all me. You know? <laughs> yeah. So, um, so yeah, that's what kind of led me to, to bring out my creativity too. Um, with integration, uh, it really helped me, help me learn about meditation and help me learn about doing yoga and different things to, to look within myself and then also hearing other people's stories. Um, so whenever I was starting to do like the meditation, yoga, things like that, I, I had a very set schedule before getting pregnant and um, I used, I started using tarot. I was gifted actually from someone I met through a uh, soul quest during my journey. We went on the same weekend. They gifted me a, a pack of tarot deck. As a view, very beautiful set. And so, um, yeah, I started meddling with them and messing with them. And I've just, they've really helped me. They've really, really helped me on my journey um, so far. Um, the candles, too. Uh, what I love about candles is even though we just think, oh, it's just a scent. What it brings me to is a memory of like whenever I was sitting in front of the fire pit at Soul Quest and, and taking in that internal flame. Um, yes and bring that spirit back within us. And um, that's that's what led me to do uh, candles as well um, and to bring my own creativity to it. Um, so yeah, that's uh, what I'm offering. It's got, uh, I add crystals in there. Um, and I've just I, put this up here. This is your website, Mystical Moon Sanctuary. Yes, Mystical Moon Sanctuary is my website. I spent so much time working on that. I was like, I'm so happy. Um, Definitely have to check it out. Uh, I offer five different candles on there. Um, three of them have crystals with them with their own little um, little sparkle to it. And um, I offer two other ones with uh, natural dry flowers. They're all made with all natural soy wax, um, natural ingredients through and through. So they're very safe for you to breathe in, burn, whatever, put in your home. Um, they're not going to hurt nature. They're, you know, it's, it's very high quality stuff. Um, and, and they're beautiful. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And you have um, them infused, right? You've got some, some, I saw the purple one in there. Is there, is there lavender in this or you've um, got the, the dried flowers on top? I have actually, I'll show it to you. So this is the jar. It's kind of hard. My lighting isn't the greatest, but these are like That's little beautiful. sunflower. And then this is the top with a little sunflower on. It's purple. And then it has amethyst. Mm, it has amethyst and I have a gate. I got a gate on there. Sorry, I'm still trying to learn. But, you know, these can be for anybody. Like, say you want to set your intentions and you want to have your little meditation section or your, your sacred space or you just want to sit in a bath and have it next yeah, to you. Yes, it's, right. It's, Right. It's universal for anything. And you can use the crystals and set set the attentions for it. So amethyst really helps with the third eye, helps open up your third eye and um, bring clearing, helps you with uh, stress, calm. And then the agate also like counterbalance, like balances with it and helps you bring it even more of a serenity. Um, and yeah, like I also have this one. It's like a little matte black. Mm -hmm. um, this one I used. This one's, it smells so good. This is a great one for, I know. <laughs> but this one has a tiger's eye and obsidian, so it's great for mm. uh, protection. So you want to be protected from, you know, negative low vibrational energies. You don't want that in your space. This is great to add to it. Um, and then you get the stones when the candle's finished burning. 
yeah, you can, you can, it's, it's entirely up to you. You can take it out before you start burning it and use them, or you can keep them in there. Me, I keep them in there. I like, you know, just bringing it all together. And then, yeah, when it's done, you could just clean it out, wash them off. It's very easy to clean and you can reuse your jar and the crystals. That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Now let's talk about the, the tarot and Oracle readings that you do as well, because this is an, an, an offering that, that, you know, you say it was gifted to you, but it was also gifted to you by universe. Yes. Yes. It, it really was. Um, because mm. I'm just going to give you a little history. I was raised not about this stuff. Okay. <laughs> this is not something. You're in the deep about. South. Yeah, I am. I'm in the deep south of Mississippi. That's where I'm at. We are, uh, yeah, we're, yes. we're strict. <laughs> yes. Um, so I fell in love. I found my little mist of my, like, it really brings out my um, higher self. It helps me um, connect with spirit. Um, like, I, I actually just got this deck. This is one of my decks that I got that I will be working with a lot. It's called a Grimalkin's uh, Curious Cats. This was just released. And I love cats, so as, you know, Perfect. as you can tell. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, with tarot and oracle card readings, like some people might know what it is, some people don't. So what it is is, it like tarot reading is kind of like pages to your story. It's like it helps you give like, say you want a love reading, and you're wanting to figure out, um, am I gonna by my person? Am I going to be able to, you know, do I need to move on from somebody? You know, like it, it helps guide you in, in directions um, in different areas of your life. There's, there's tons of ways that these things can be used. And okay. um, it's, it's amazing. Um, for me, like I was saying before is if you can't get on integration calls and all the time and you're, you're struggling to get answers and in life is crazy. Right. So yeah. and, and our ego sometimes clouds us and our emotions kind of cloud us sometimes to get that clarity we need. And I show with that being a single mom, I'm, I'm constantly overstimulated. I'm, I'm going through a lot. So using this as a tool to help guide me and um, connect with spirit to, to find directions in my love life, to find direction with my shadow and, and get answers that I can't see, like whatever's, you know, hidden in my subconscious yeah. that I can't see. It, it helps me connect with spirit to, to be like spirits like, hey, this is what I'm trying to tell you. And it gives you a clear, much more clear direction. Um, the biggest thing about it, though, is, is you, you take what resonates and you leave you leave the rest. Not everything yeah. is going to resonate with everybody. But, yeah, I, I found it is is brought me very far on this journey. Over the another last tool. Time. Yeah, it's another tool. Oh, in the toolbox. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And okay. like it, it, another thing is too, where I found it is like with me being a single mom, not everybody can go out and, and afford plant medicine or can go out and do a journey. Well, I would love to go out and go do ayahuasca again, but that's that's not lined up in my, my life at the moment. So right. using this has been very, very helpful to, to get me realigned <laughs> on my path. And get yes. me back on a back on a back on the road I need to be on instead of being like all over the place, you know. So yeah, um, that's what I'm offering to help people. Um, so you so, offer the readings? Yes, I offer 15 okay. minute and 30 minute readings. Okay. Um, I will say that I only offer general love, inner shadow, and financial readings. There is other people out there that will offer like pregnancy health stuff, oh. things like that. I don't, I personally, this is not, is not aligned with me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't offer those, but these other, other areas of your life, I can absolutely most definitely help you with. And, and okay. Now tell us where, where can we find you? We do have this up here, but. So you have me on Mystical Moon Sanctuary. You have my website. Um, you can also find Mystical Moon Sanctuary on Facebook and you can also look at my name, Shara Stone, and find me on there as well. Um, and yeah, you can find me on any of those platforms. Um, and I also have an email, Mystical Moon Sanctuary at Yahoo. So if you need anything, just contact me that way. Um, okay, you can always find her on the plant medicine path as well. Yes. yes. If you have any questions, you can definitely find Shara through us as well. Thank you. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, I sure appreciate you coming on and, and talking about this. I'd love to continue the conversation and, and keep following you and see where you're going. And I love watching you and little man. I heard him for a second back there. Yeah. Yeah. He's making some noises. He's always making some kind of noises, cooing or something. He always goes, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on Mystical Moon Sanctuary. You can find Shayra in her beautiful candles and offerings of, of tarot and oracle readings. Thank you so much. Thank I love you guys. You.